Well, honestly, I've, I've slept so much better since you found out that Lola returned the money from Cece's estate to me. I'm really sorry I kept that a secret from you. I'm just glad everything's out in the open. You have the money to save the gallery in time for tonight's open. I'm so excited it's finally happening. Are there any last minute details you want me to take care of? No, we need to give the caterer a final head count. Do you remember how many RSVPs we had? I never checked, but I'm sure everyone's coming. Uh, What's wrong? Well, this can't be right. They're all regrets. What happened to your art world connections? No art form editor. No major collectors. Even Beck said no. What the hell happened? You surfing the Empire CCTV again? What is Olivia Munstang here? Wrong place. This is the security footage from the Vander Woodson building. How'd you get your hands on that? Well, Vanya can't be bribed, but the night doorman was remarkably open to a cash payment. So what are you looking for? When Ivy was in the apartment, she said Bart walked in with an envelope he held onto rather tightly. I was hoping to see a return address or some distinguishing marks. Did you find anything? Indeed. The envelope had the seal of the first international bank of Sudan. The financial records from his illegal oil trade? I assume so, but Bart closed all the accounts that morning. And he's not about to show you what's in the envelope or tell you where it is. He won't, but someone else might. Bruce Kaplan dropped the envelope off to Bart that morning. The Bass business manager? He won't spill any of Bart's secrets to you. He won't, but if the head of the Spectator were to ask for business management advice, he might accidentally let something slip. Especially if it's the kind of meeting that loosens lips. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I figured out why no one's coming to our opening. Turns out there's a huge benefit tonight at the Conrad for the art production fund. Guess who's hosting? Lily. She must have figured out when you were planning on opening your gallery. Scheduled her own benefit to sabotage you. Well, it's not just me she's sabotaging. It's my artist, too. This group show was a big deal to them. How am I going to explain that no one's coming because of my vindictive ex-wife? Well, everyone would still come if her event was canceled. No, well, she's not going to cancel a huge benefit for me. She wouldn't even take my call. I'm not calling her. I'm calling the art production fund. I feel like donating some money. <laughs> 